Oh, it's you, cutie. <gasps> to what do I owe the honor of your visit? Are you here to peruse the library? Or perhaps you're here to visit a certain someone? <laughs> and we were just passing through. And decided to stop by for a chat along the way? Alas, what rotten luck. You just so happen to have caught me in the middle of some important work. I'll have to treat you to afternoon tea some other time. Wait, you're actually busy? With work? That's not a sight you see every day. Ooh. <laughs> you're right. The last time I was this consumed with research must have been way back at the academia. I haven't done this much thinking for a long time. It's rather exhausting. Are you writing a thesis there? <laughs> if you're that interested, why don't you join in on the fun? What do you say? Want to help me relive my days as a scholar? It's not polite to pawn off your work on other people, you know. Is that a no, then? It will be quite the rare opportunity to work together, and you would, of course, be generously rewarded. But if you don't want to... Let's hear the details first. As you probably know, the Knights of Favonius have long conducted research on alchemy. But most of that research has been carried out in a laboratory setting. The public's knowledge of alchemy is quite minimal. Which means that up to this point, most of our research and discoveries have remained quite distant from people's daily lives. We've put a lot of mora into the research, but have very little to show for our efforts. Noting this disconnect, Jean decided to start an initiative where we'd share the fruits of our labor with the people. For now, that means introducing them to several different kinds of alchemical potions. As it happens, I already have some experience with this work. Even though I usually work at the library, I have lent my support in the past to the management of the Knight's Potion Supply. Potioneering was also one of my academic specializations back in the day, so Jean thought I was the best person for the job. But to create potions practical enough to support the daily needs of the people, a lot of adjustments had to be made to the ingredients we use, and the overall alchemical process also needed to be simplified. All in all, what started as a relatively simple research project soon evolved into something exceedingly complicated. So, are you asking us to help you with your research? Cause, uh, you're not exactly talking to two alchemy experts over here. <laughs> no worries. I've already thought of the perfect job for you two. Alchemical practices are becoming more and more advanced, but there's still a disconnect between our research and the general public. What we really need is to collect feedback from the people. Otherwise, we won't truly know if we're satisfying their needs. But if we want to conduct research and collect feedback at the same time, we need to go about things in a more efficient way. So, I thought the best way to do that would be to open up a potion shop. That way, we could continue to handle the alchemy side of things while also being able to interface with the public and understand their needs. Oh, it's like killing two pigeons with one stone! Smart idea, Lisa! <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> and who better to take on this job than one killing of the most two accomplished birds with among one our ranks, Wait, what? the Traveler. <laughs> When I was at the academia, students would often help out with each other's research projects. I'm sure my <laughs> cuties wouldn't want to miss out on the opportunity to experience that sort of youthful enthusiasm for themselves. Yeah, you make it sound nice and all, but Paimon still thinks you're just looking for a way to pawn off your work. <laughs> we just think of it as a favor for Lisa. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. When all our work is done, I will personally see to it that you're generously rewarded. All of the initial preparations have been made, so let's head to the shop. We'll finish our discussion after we get there. Oh, I was laughing too good at my own joke. <sighs> this is the shop. Nice. Aesthetically pleasing. Wow, looks like you've made a lot of preparations already. Did you do this all by yourself? No, I <laughs> It was a group effort. Yep. A whole bunch of knights helped out. Jean secured the initial funds to open the shop. Albedo and Sucrose provided the ingredients yep, and equipment needed to two. brew the potions. And the logistics company is handling the provision of all future supplies. 
Now with your help, it's like an additional weight has been lifted off my shoulders. The Knights have been busy spreading the word about our shop over the past few days. So, we should be ready to open once we've finished our final preparations. Okay, let's not keep everyone waiting then. Why don't you take these ingredients and try your hand at brewing a potion? <laughs> what is this music? What is this music? Initially, have one chance to concoct a potion each operation cycle by using more ingredients. When concocting a potion, you'll gain more alchemy level experience and potion ingredient experience, and then there is a chance to create an even stronger potion. Make use of your opportunities to concoct potions. Okay. Oh, looks like you finished your potion. Now, all we need to do is put it on display for sale. I find it funny, Liesl's kind of the head honcho of this event. Kind of ironic. Looks like we're done with all the prep work. No, Why don't we take a short break whole... over there while we wait for customers to arrive? Which vibe? I'm definitely gonna say now. Ain't no way they're not gonna reference Alice with this event. Feel like calling it right now. Cause it's way too ominous. That oh, it seems like everything we literally is going have a well. monster event. You've already sold your first batch of potions. Not a bad start at all. And I choose to display balance when we mention a reference. Next, we'll need to consult the news from the market. That means staying up to date on the latest news and trends to try and anticipate people's needs. It's an essential skill when it comes to business. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no kidding, Don't mom. worry. I already took it upon myself to compile all the latest news on the market for you. Good hunters coming up with the new dishes for adventures with love battling. The owner of Monster Flower Shop is looking to have their fresh flowers grow more lushly and extend the time they are in bloom. Okay. What do you think? Have any ideas on the kinds of potions you should sell next? Go ahead and try to cultivate some herbs then. Bioalchemical processing can infuse herbs with different effects and properties. Using different herbs in the brewing process will, in turn, alter the effects of the potion. There's a whole bunch of combinations to try. All right, cutie, why don't you get started?
different cultivation areas can be assigned ingredients separately after a certain number of operation cycles. Your ingredients will mature and can be harvested. Once you complete this harvest, the cultivation area will automatically cultivate the previously selected ingredients. The cultivation process of ingredients will not be saved if you change the ingredient assigned to the cultivation area. Okay. Ethereal chemical. Alchemy level increases. You can unlock. Okay, so unlock more. Seems like you've gotten the hang of the cultivation side of things. Ah, I should probably mention, a knight from the logistics company has arrived. She'll be the one handling the provision of all future supplies. You should go have a chat with her in a little bit. And after that, it'll be your time to shine. Wait, what about you? Yeah, shouldn't it be our time to shine? You know, the three of us? What about your role in all this? My role? <laughs> Naturally, it was to ensure my cuties had all the business and alchemy knowledge they needed to succeed. Okay, I'll be rooting for you. Good luck. Ah, uh, I knew this would happen. <laughs> uh, perfect face. For the both of them. Okay. Weird. Greta? Greetings, honorary knight. <laughs> Greetings, Paimon. My name is Greta. The Greta name. I'm a knight from the logistics company. It's such an honor to meet the famous traveler and her loyal attendant. Wow, Paimon's fame is really spreading across the land. <laughs> Calm down, um, Paimon. Before we have to pop that Paimon's ego. Her companion, not her attendant. <sighs> My apologies. I guess I got a bit carried away after hearing all about your exploits. It's just like something out of a novel. You don't You're say. Practically legends at this point. I'm, I'm a bit jealous, actually. <laughs> what parts of love those to stories have been told? Search of adventure, like one of those nights you read about in stories. <sighs> Seems like a really fun life. <laughs> Maybe you'll get the chance one day. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping, at least. <laughs> anyway, we've got some prep work to wrap up, right? My orders from the acting grandmaster are to support your business in any way that I can. If there's anything you need, just let me know. I see we still haven't heard anything from Varka again. You're in luck. I just got a new batch of provisions. Please, take a look and see if anything catches your eye. Might as well. I assume that is basically the first part. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I love it. Alright, the usual events nonsense. Ah.
Okay. That's a little bit more understandable, but... Keep it away. So yeah. Alright, three axe structure, okay. That's not bad. Do wonder ultimately if Alice will be once again mentioned. Cause it feels like it's becoming tradition now. To have her being referenced in every monster related event. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Either way, like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz, and uh, see y'all next time. Bye!